which operating system should you use for pen testing? One thing that I want to clear up pretty much right away is that this notion of you needing to use a particular operating system for pen testing. That's all, all in all, that is just not true. You can use any operating system that you want, any operating system that you prefer. And in fact, a lot of the people that do this for a living, they leverage multiple operating systems for you know, whatever is best for their situation. Now, within the umbrella of Linux, there's also different flavors of Linux that are known as distributions, distros, right? Probably, if you've done some research here on the offensive side, you might have heard of Kali Linux a number of times. That's a very popular distribution, right? All that means is that it's running Linux, uh, the Linux kernel under the hood, everything is Linux, but it has a certain set of packages installed on it to further customize it into a unique version, unique subset of Linux. Ubuntu, if you're familiar with that, that's a distribution of Linux. Kali Linux, all that is, is a flavor of Linux that was made for pen testing and things like that. So it's going to come pre-packaged with pretty much all the tools that you need to get started. And because of that, I would recommend for the people that are new to this, don't get caught up in the war. Everyone has an opinion on their favorite setup, their favorite operating system or Linux distro. But if you are really beginner to this, you're really new at it, go ahead and install Kali Linux. Now, if you're going to do that, my recommendation would be to install the pre-installed operating system. So if you uh, if you just take to Google and you, you search for the yeah, offensive security Kali image, because the difference here is if you download the ISO file, it's basically as if you have a install disk and you put like when you put an install disk in a computer, like I don't know if you've ever installed Windows before, it's kind of like that. It'll When you boot it up, it'll run the installer and you'll have to click through the menus and it's going to take a long time while it, you got know, partition your hard drive and all that crazy stuff, right? But if you install the image from the offensive security website, they have one that's already pre-installed, built out, ready to go. So all you need to do is import that into your VM software of choice. Maybe it's VirtualBox, maybe it's VMware. Uh, whatever it is, and uh, it will be ready to go. Now, I will say, when you download the image, make sure you download the image that corresponds to the virtualization software you're using. So there'll be an image for VirtualBox, and there'll be an image for VMware. So you got to make sure that you download the one that uh, that you're using, right? Because they are a little bit different, and they won't work in the other one. So yeah, that's where I would recommend getting started with all this stuff. Now, the reason why people prefer Linux, well, I'm going to cover that briefly, right? Because like I mentioned earlier, you could use anything you want. In fact, if you're a huge Windows guy, you could use Windows as your main pen testing machine. You could do all your pen testing on Windows pretty much. Now, there's a couple of reasons why people prefer Linux for the pen testing stuff, right? A lot of times you're going to be running command line tools. Like that's just the nature of the security space. A lot of the tools you're going to interface with are, you know, they're command line tools, right? So if you're doing a lot of command line stuff, the Windows command line is awful, right? <laughs> and if you want to, if you do everything in PowerShell, well, you still kind of run into the issue that a lot of these tools are built for Linux. So if you go on GitHub and, you know, you look at a lot of these third-party tools that you're going to be using a lot, they're going to be very useful for you. A lot of them, uh, you know, you'll see a lot of bash scripts and, you know, without using, you know, maybe like Windows subsystem for Linux or something like that, you're not going to be able to run those bash scripts on your Windows box. I mean, yeah, like I said, there are way, ways around that, but it is a bit of a hassle, right? So if you do run Linux, you're not going to really run into any issues pretty much. So, and, and also it's very easy to install things on Linux versus Windows. So 
I'm sure all of you guys are probably familiar with Windows. So like, if you want to install something, you have to go to the website, download it, click through it, and pay attention to make sure it's not installing any like adware, spyware stuff on your system in addition to that, right? So with Linux, it's way easier. You can install everything from a package manager. And depending on what distro, you know, what flavor of Linux you're using, it'll have a different uh, package manager. So for Kali, it's uh, Debian-based, so the apt repository uh, is what you'll be using. You know, you're using the apt packet, uh, package manager. So for example, if I want to install Wireshark, I just say apt install Wireshark. It's that easy. You just do it from the command line and it installs it from the uh, repository right onto your system. You don't have to click through anything. You don't have to go hunting for the correct download on the internet. You don't have to worry about any extra stuff getting installed. It's really that simple. So it makes it very easy. People love that uh, aspect of Linux. So that that is the allure of it. I will say as well, as a little bonus tip for you guys, a lot of people do prefer Mac as well because... It has, it's it's based off of Linux, ultimately, uh, based off of Unix, I guess, if I want to be really pure and correct in what I'm saying here. And so it uh, is another one that's very easy to install things, very easy to manage, and the command line is solid. And it, you can pretty much run most of the Linux tools on Mac, uh, especially if you install uh, Brew, which is their package manager, makes it very easy to... Uh, be able to upkeep these things and uh, you know manage all the command line tools on your system. It's a, it's actually a very nice operating system to use for security as well. I know a lot of people prefer that as their main pen testing operating system. Now, what another thing that you could do is you could have multiple operating systems for the situation. Like if you watch some of my videos, what you might've seen is that I have a windows box that I sometimes use for, for overflow stuff that way. Cause when you're doing that, you really need to replicate that environment. So when you stand up the software, you're, you have it, uh, in the same environment as what you're pen testing against, but that's a whole another matter for another time. But yeah, I could definitely just install Ubuntu and do all my pen testing off there. The only thing that matters is that I have the tools that I need at my disposal. So, so if you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe. If you haven't already hit the like button as well to help get this beginner content out there. And I will see you guys over in the videos on screen. Now, if you want to continue learning uh, from this beginner's playlist, thanks for watching.